All right, so power service, you familiar with that one? Do you use this one? Yep. Okay. That's good. There's a lot of people, you know, this, I think this is probably one of the more popular products um, here. And this is the same, but this, this again, 911 is one of them that they, they recommend that you use right after a gel up. You take that, you take that water separator filter off and you put, grab the new one and you fill it with this and then you screw it back on and start it and that's supposed to take care of all your engine problems. House is another popular product. I know there's quite a few truckers that use it and there's quite a few farmers that use it. And then I haven't, I haven't really run into, I, other people say they know people that have used it. I haven't run into anybody that's using this STP diesel treatment. Have you used this at all? I've tried it. You've tried it? Didn't get the results you wanted? Don't like it. I like to put them stinky chemicals, chemicals back over there. And then we'll just add a little bit of ours here. So, what is the biggest problem that we're having with diesel engines? You guys remember? Carbon soot. Mm -hmm. soot. Soot. Yeah. Soot. Soot is probably one of the biggest issues. Uh, I know Scott will hammer that hard when he's out here. Um, soot is one of the biggest issues and the biggest problems that most people are dealing with. Hence, the reason we've got to put all this extra equipment on our on our vehicles. That's very expensive to replace. So, let's see how these products burn. Talking about soot. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. So, you see, the, I'll leave the Q-tips out front. So, yeah, so these are both the power service products here. That one burnt a little cleaner. Well, it's sort of cleaner. <laughs> you got the house. Yes, I'm just thinking. STP? So, how are we doing on the whole soot factor so far? That's so good. XP3. Now that's, that's good. We have a more efficient, complete burning fuel additive. Now, the next problem that we have with the diesel is again the water which is creating the algae growth. And I just talked to a guy here the other day and he just spent a bunch of money having his man lift all cleaned out because he couldn't get it started and they found out that he got major algae growth in the man lift because of all the water that's in there. Mm -hmm. So again green water, the reason I put a drop of green food coloring in here is because a lot of times when I compare these products most of them are clear I want, you to, I want it to stand off, I want you to be able to see it. I'm just going to put about five drops, roughly, if I can get it to drip. So did you see what happened there? You can see the water at the bottom of all four of these competitor products, all four of them claiming to deal with water. So, again, if we're pushing free water to the bottom of the tank, 
we can introduce that algae. So we want something that's going to completely disperse it. Now that one there, you can see if you look closely, there's a green hue to the whole liquid. What if it's your shirt? It is. <laughs> See the green hue yeah. to it? So now just for fun, let's just take and burn these all again and just see if the water makes any difference. We've changed one element. We'll start down here with our power service again. See a little Faster. bit of a crackle? And look at it's still really dirty, maybe even a little more. See, you can see the difference between oh, the two. It's, it's Yep. So let's see how the water does in the 911. So you're still getting a little bit of crackle and stuff going on there. Did stay a little cleaner. The house. Yep. Look at how black that turned this time compared to the other time. Water made a big difference. There goes an injector. Burns even cleaner with a little water in it. So...